my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing another reading for you guys this is going to be for all 12 zodiac signs um, tonight is full moon and we are just getting ready to do some uh, a bunch of spell work um, and when grounding myself and meditating I was told um, to give you guys a message so I feel that it is necessary so we're going to look into your situation and see what changes or what can you expect for the next 72 hours. This is going to be for all zodiac signs. Like I said, how are you guys doing, my lovelies? Hope you guys are doing amazing. So hang tight. Let's see exactly what's going on with every one of you guys. What changes can we expect? What movement, momentum, challenges, obstacles, or opportunities are coming your way in the next... 72 hours oh, the energy is extremely explosive you guys very powerful full moon in pisces water energy emotions right i'm probably going to upload this then probably the day after the full moon so let's see. We're going to start off with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's get into your reading, Aries. All right. So we're starting off with the Two of Pentacles here. There is need for you to find balance, Aries. And I feel uh, it has a lot to do with your emotions. Obviously, we are experiencing full moon in Pisces. Uh, this is being able to control your emotions or being in control of your emotions, not allowing um not a, it's almost like a feeling of a panic mode um that you may be experiencing or you will be experiencing overwhelmingness of emotion now you also have here the king of pentacles may be dealing with earth energy taurus capricorn virgo but this can also be you um having to choose or having choices in regards to your career and your finances i do see you coming together or working in a group setting for some of you guys this could be uh, taking on a new project, a new opportunity that is coming to you, or working in a group setting, like I said. There is the Five of Swords here, so there is an obstacle, um, something that you're going to have to overcome. It could possibly have to do with, again, uh, finding the balance within your emotions. Don't let, as an example, if you are working in combination with other people or in a group setting, a group project, anything like that, and you feel like uh, there is almost this burst of emotion where uh, they trigger you or get the best of you. It is important to not lead with your ego. Take a step back. Take a deep breath. Uh, don't let them get, get you out of character. But also don't be impatient because I feel like you're more prone to picking up other people's slack just for the sake of them getting out of your way. And what they're telling you here is, again, don't be ruled by your ego because you're doing a disservice to the other people as well as doing a disservice to yourself. Um, putting yourself constantly in a situation where you have to pick up on other people's uh, lack of work ethic or effort, um, you're making it more simplistic or more easy for them and they get used to that shit. So don't do that. Uh, I also do see options here, options in regards to um, connecting, uh, connecting with your spiritual side. This could be the need to feed your spiritual side. Could be that at this point in your life, there you may be experiencing a bit of uh, feeling a bit lost, feeling a bit like there is no direction, and having the desire here with the King of Pentacles of finding what you would consider your stability. Um, but oftentimes um, you probably feel pressured and it could be because those around you, it could be family uh, that depends or is expecting something from you and your pride sometimes not being able to speak up and asking for help when it's necessary um, or asking them to fuck off for a bit when it's necessary. Uh, you want to put this front or show that you're capable, which you are Aries, but sometimes um, carrying on other people's expectations is the greatest disservice you can do to yourself. So again, uh, they're asking you to feed your spiritual side, to connect whatever your practice is <clears throat> so that you can find some clarity as well as some guidance or purpose because I feel that you're scattered right now and it's almost a feeling of 
um, where, you know, where am I at this point in my life? And there's a desire for clarity. Um, but because there could be lack of, like I said, feeding your spiritual side, it's almost like you're kind of losing your way with um, everyday routine. So again, uh, keep that in mind. Make sure to rest. Make sure to uh, take the necessary take the necessary uh, steps to making sure that your health is uh, that you're taking care of your health areas and that you're resting, um, not stressing yourself out or not putting a lot of pressure in what other people are expecting from you. Okay. All right, we're going to look into the Oracle cards. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys. <clears throat> Aries, Sun, Moon. Here we go. Okay. So we have victory and we have man holding a heart. So for some of you guys, you could be dealing with the situation in regards to love and romance, where at some point you felt like you were starting to open up or you were uh, being able to express yourself or show some type of vulnerability. And the moment you started to do this, you started to notice the person dispersing or uh, perhaps not giving you as much attention, as much effort. Uh, this is what created the confusion and the ego. Um, you know, I will start to, you know, look at my other options as well to prove a point. What Spirit is telling you is if you were able to get to a point of showing some type of vulnerability, um, this is a... Uh, important step to do so when connecting with people if they're not reciprocating that energy uh, do not close yourself down Aries do not shut down because you may be shutting down um, the opportunity to connect with someone that is wanting something uh, more serious or that is willing to put in the effort you also have victory so again whatever it is that you're currently going through it's important to keep your composure and stay optimistic and positive things are going to work out or going to become much more clear for you in the next coming um, in the next coming hours. This is 72 hour reading. So again, uh, there will be victory. There will be a feeling of accomplishment or a feeling of clarity of mind uh, no longer being scattered or no longer being confused. All right. And your next cards here is your commitment is being tested and adjustments are required so again i feel for some of you guys uh, you may be dealing with uh, relationships you may be dealing with connections even how you communicate and connect with those around you uh, your commitment is being tested for some of you guys if like i said if you've been on this mission of accomplishing and um, making goals happen for yourself um, there may be a feeling of restlessness a feeling like things are not going the way you would expect them or the way you would hope they are um, what they're telling you is continue on the path things will clear up for you you're definitely going to see that uh, at the receiving end there is victory there's achievement there is pride um, based on the hard work and labor that you've been putting. And adjustments are required. It's important for you not to stay uh, stuck in the mud or being stubborn about something, uh, Aries. Be more open to the possibilities or the way of doing things, even if they are different ways of what you're accustomed to. Okay? All right, my lovelies. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Now let's go to the next reading for Taurus. All right, let's see what can Taurus expect in the next coming 72 hours. Spirit guides, archangels, ancestors. What are the messages for Taurus? What can they expect in the next 72 hours? Okay, one more. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, let's get to it. Oh, wow, we have the two of pentacles here again. Okay, a lot of imbalances are going on, you guys. I think it's the Pisces full moon. Everyone's becoming a bit overwhelmed, right? Uh, there is a feeling of having to make a choice or being at crossroads right now. What they're telling is don't push forward or don't uh, react in a way where you feel like you have to make a decision, whatever it is that you feel pressure or that pressure is coming from. Um, don't rush yourself into making any decisions or any quick movements. 
um, because you would be uh, responding purely on an emotional basis. What they're telling you is let things unfold organically the way they should and the way they will. With the full card, there's a new beginning, a new path that is taking you towards more stability with the Nine of Pentacles. For some of you guys, you have been single for quite a while, definitely. Um, we have the Nine of Pentacles here with the World card. So in the next 72 hours, what they're telling you is with this full moon, there is also an ending cycle. For those of you guys that have been single, there's an ending cycle to your singlehood. Uh, there may be some frustrations there. There may be some feeling of um, not much movement. For some of you guys, it could even be that, you know, when they ask you about your romantic life, you're like, well, it's non-existent. Um, what they're telling you is that there is quick momentum. There are major changes happening behind the scenes that you're not aware of right now. Uh, so try the best you can not to get in your feelings, Taurus. Uh, keep an open mind and an open heart. Now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, there may be a lot of challenges that you're currently going through and you're questioning the relationship or partnership. For some of you guys even desiring perhaps um, taking some time apart or taking some time away from each other. With the world card, there's definitely an ending cycle here. So there will be a decision that will be made, um, but that decision must not be rushed. So it has to happen organically. Now, your next card here is the Ace of Pentacles. So there is definitely a new beginning here. Uh, there is an ending cycle, but with the ending cycle, there's a new beginning. And this new beginning is bringing to you many blessings, uh, specifically in areas where you feel like you've been stagnant or there hasn't been much movement. What they're telling you is continue on the path that you're on. Uh, there's many blessings that are going to be bestowed upon you, and they will show you the path. They will show you the way um, and how to... Uh, how to walk towards this path that is bringing to you not only stability but emotional stability uh, which is very important and very major here your next card is the six of swords moving on uh, definitely moving on towards a brighter horizon more stability or emotional stability like i said uh, being able to learn from past experiences here's the thing that they're also saying try the best not to carry uh, whatever resentments or anger has been there in regards to past relationships, you got to let go of that baggage. If you can see here, the six of swords, uh, there's a woman and a child, and it seems like they have luggage, which speaks to me directly about carrying past burdens or past experiences to the next uh, relationship. And it's crucial and important to release yourself from that. Um, even if you're dealing with people from your past right now that kind of are making you feel a bit uh, restless, not sure if you should continue being on that path or if you should continue being on the path that you're on right now. Uh, whatever it is that you decide, there's definitely a new beginning, whether you're ready or not. It's time to embrace that. Uh, Taurus, very, very important here. <clears throat> and your final card here is the Eight of Wands. So again, like I said, very quick momentum and movement, like I said. If you've been feeling like you've been stagnant, that's not going to be the situation anymore. Uh, for some of you guys, you could be receiving an invitation or someone coming towards you professing some type of interest in you. Um, and it's going to take you by surprise, definitely. So let's see what the Oracle cards speak um, for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For some of you, Taurus, you may actually get the opportunity of connecting or taking a friendship to the next level. Um, you may be dealing with an Aries or you may be dealing with another Earth sign, a Capricorn, a Taurus, uh, or a Virgo like yourself. <clears throat> okay. And we have Door to Valio. So yeah, there's definitely... There's a transition that's happening here, and I feel that for a lot of you guys, it's the understanding or the knowing what you deserve, uh, knowing exactly what you don't want to deal with anymore. So that's a blessing. Uh, the understanding what, you know, when we go through difficulties, only then are we able to realize we don't deserve to be treated a certain way. Uh, the door to value does speak about uh, valuing yourself and knowing your worth and knowing your self-worth as well as how you want or should be treated. Uh, very 
powerful cards here. You also have the thinking man. So I definitely do see someone that you've been constantly on their mind. Um, and this is a person that, like I said, will be revealing feelings or interest in you in the next uh, in the next days to come. So definitely stay on the lookout for that. All right. And finally, we have prosperity lies ahead. Definitely new moon in Taurus. Um, again, we're talking about new beginnings here. New, new, new is what they're saying. Uh, you also have balance, spirituality, and practicality. Uh, for those of you guys that have been working or have been learning to manifest, it's very crucial and important um, to keep a balance when we're talking about our spiritual side as well as the practicality, right? The everyday. Uh, sometimes people get so comfortable in meditation, uh, connecting with spirit that uh, you spend most the time doing that. And what they're telling you is that, you know, are you doing it because you are genuinely wanting to up your spiritual side or are you doing it to evade certain situations or to escape? So be careful about that. It's important to maintain balance here. Full moon in Pisces, which is funny because that's exactly what we're experiencing right now. So again, for some of you guys, you may be experiencing very vivid dreams um lucid dreams i should say for others of you you may be experiencing dreams where um you know you dream something today and tomorrow it manifests uh, in some shape way or form so they're trying to speak to you through this pay attention to your dreams all right my lovelies hope you guys enjoyed this now let's go to gemini All right, let's see what Gemini has going on. What can Gemini expect in the next in the next 72 hours? Spirit guides, what are the messages for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What can they expect in the next 72 hours? Gemini. All right, here we go. Let's get to it. Now we're starting off here with the Three of Swords. You guys are definitely releasing heartbreak, sorrows for some of you guys. This could be the mourning, the loss of a loved one. For others of you, it could be that you're just reconnecting or just accepting uh, the end of some type of relationship and you're going through that mourning process or that healing process that hasn't begun, whether it's because you've been refusing it or because you've refused to accept it. Now, you also have the wheel here. So there is definitely a ending cycle. Um, what they're saying as well is that circumstances and situations will be changing rather quickly. Uh, whenever I get the three of swords with the wheel, it usually indicates um, being able to see a situation or circumstance uh, in the worst possible way. And all of a sudden, uh, within a matter of, you know, within a matter of hours, the situation completely changes. So there could be a surprise that's coming towards you with the moon card. Um, definitely experiencing a lot of psychic ability uh, for some of you guys. This could be uh, missing yearning for someone from the past um, and they will be popping up or they will be reaching out to you in the next coming days um, with the five of cups there is definitely a lot of sorrow here a lot of hurt a lot of feeling uh being left out in the cold uh feeling a bit lost for some of you guys it's almost like a situation where uh, you kind of look at the past as that's the best thing that ever happened to me and what spirit is telling you you need to let go of this feeling or this way of thinking in order to be able to experience the, be the best is yet to come. Um, and I keep hearing that recurring. Um, so again, what they're telling you is don't fixate on the past. What is done in the past, it is done. Move on from that. Uh, it's time to embrace and look towards the future in a positive way, uh, thinking that the best is yet to happen. Why? Because we, when we think about the past and when we think about that was the best time of my life, the universe is going to continue echoing situations that make you feel like you're right. The past was the best. So again, you got to change that mentality. Um, I definitely do see someone thinking of you, and I feel that this full moon is definitely going to trigger them. So there will be some type of communication. Uh, definitely, that's exactly the card that I was 
kind of feeling, but I wasn't seeing yet. Um, so yeah, they're definitely someone has been missing you, has been thinking of you, could be the person that you're still holding on to that will be coming back around and will be reaching out to you. Uh, with the Five of Cups, though, I feel that there is almost like a, a feeling, especially with the wheel. Um, if you feel at some point when they reach out or they communicate like the universe or the spirits have finally heard your prayers, um, what they're telling you here is don't put a lot of, you know, a lot of trust in this process. Because remember, full moons are always about conclusions. It's always about what we need to release. If they're coming back around and you start to notice that they're not consistent or that they're just reaching out because that day they were feeling emotional and they were thinking of you, is it really fair for you uh, to entertain them? Because it's almost like reopening a womb. So again, what they're telling you here is, you know, don't allow people... Um, or don't give people the power to continuously keep hurting you or to continuously keep letting you down. And this is something that is very important and is coming through very strongly for you, uh, Gemini. And finally, you have the Sun card here. So the Sun card does represent um, a relationship, a connection. Um, but this can also represent being confident and knowing, uh, knowing who you are, Gemini, knowing the power that you possess knowing that you are a loving person and um, stop blaming yourself what things didn't work out in the past. It's almost like you kind of uh, fantasized or romanticized the situation where you're constantly either blaming yourself or blaming circumstance of why things didn't work out. And what Spirit is telling you is, you know, it takes two people to tangle. It takes two people to make it work or not make it work. Um, love yourself and put yourself first uh, because a person that genuinely cares and genuinely loves you is going to be doing that uh, without you having the need to do that. They're always going to want the betterment and the best for you. All right, let's see what Spirit has for you guys with these Oracle cards here. We have action and we have women holding a heart. Don't let people play on your emotions, Gemini, or play on your heart, your, your strings. Um, don't let them pull your strings. Um, there is a necessity to, you know, take action, um, seizing the moment, taking opportunities. But the moment you feel, again, that they're being inconsistent, uh, take power, you know, your heart is a very valuable thing and it is very fragile. So again, don't let people come back around only because they're feeling emotional because of the full moon and all of a sudden they fall off the map again. It's reopening a wound that you need to heal from. All right, and your next cards here is hold your vision and nothing will come of this situation. So um, I feel that this is a recurring message for you, for those of you guys that are dealing with people from the past or hoping to hear from someone from the past. Um, what they're telling you in regards to hold your vision, uh, understand and know how far you've come, how far you have came uh, from where you were at some point in your life and the progress and uh, you know the, the even though you haven't fully healed from this situation, what they're telling you is, you know, keep your eye on the prize and the prize, whatever that means to you. Um, but understand and know that when we are talking about revisiting the past, if it didn't work out the first or second time, it's not going to work out the third time. Um, it's almost like a fair warning here. Um, if you put all your eggs in that basket, uh, don't be surprised if you're let down all over again. So my advice to you um, in the next 72 hours is, if people start to pop out from the past, um, you know, if you want to speak to them or reconnect with them, that's fine. But um, when they start talking about, I don't know about you, but I still have feelings for you, stuff like that, um, let them, let it be known that you want them to show you through action, not through words, uh, and see how consistent they are. They might fall off the map, like I said, in the next, the next day or something. Um, all right. So let's go now to Gemini's. Let's see. Sorry, not Gemini. Cancer. 
Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what can you expect in the next 72 hours. You guys give me one second. My phone was ringing. And I'm currently doing spell work for clients. Um, sometimes emergencies pop off. So, all right, let's get into it. Cancer, what can you expect in the next 72 hours? What can you expect in the next 72 hours? What can you expect in the next 72 hours? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, here we go. So there's communication that's opening up here. Um, it's you being able to see clearly and concisely uh, through being able to see through the devil or the devil's intentions as we have the devil here. So it could be a person that you're dealing with. Uh, it could be a situation that is toxic. And this is you realizing uh, that it, ha it has gotten to the point of toxicity. Now, you also have the Ace of Cups. So I feel that for some of you guys, this could be in regards to a relationship. Um, it could be a situation where you wanted clarity or you were a bit confused about certain situation uh, in regards to your partner. And I feel that this information or this clarity is coming in um, and you're questioning or you're starting to question your partner's intentions. Because we do have the Ace of Cups here underneath the double card, it's almost like being very, like being very tested in regards to... Um, being extremely intensely uh, obsessed with this person that you're currently dealing with or that you have been dealing with. Um, but it's also understanding that it's not, you know, the pure type of love. It, it has more of that toxic energy. It's kind of like when you guys are so toxic towards each other that if you're in a public setting or in public, the jealousy is like so off the charts that you need to go to the restroom and your partner gets up and walks you to the restroom, like that type of energy. I'm hearing protective, but not in a positive way. I'm hearing it in a very negative or jealous or possessive way. So again, this could be you uh, coming to that understanding and realizing that you're tired of that or realizing that you don't want to be dealing with that type of energy because it's creating a lot of confusion. It's creating a lot of... Um, a lot of having to look at ourselves like in the mirror and asking ourselves like how it's almost that aha moment where you're so wrapped up into a very intense and passionate connection that when the chips, you know, fall into place, you wake up one day and you're like, I can't believe I let it go this far. That's the type of energy that I'm sensing here. And it's almost the feeling of understanding that there has to be some type of boundary, some type of um rules or some something that needs to take place in order to not allow it to get out of hand in such a way there's a lot of confusion here um and again for some of you guys it could be a long-term relationship a long-term toxic relationship that you've been dealing with um where you're coming out of the situation realizing or understanding that you don't want to deal with this anymore or understanding that sometimes love is not all it takes to make a relationship work, uh, especially if the person is extremely toxic or you're dealing with someone that is very abusive or that they are, they, they you know, have an issue with addictions or that type of energy here. I see you really questioning all of this. Um, so what, what I'm seeing here is there is a dynamic that's going to be changing in the next 72 hours where the illusion of what you thought or what you would hope this connection would lead to is basically falling to pieces and it's you realizing that there needs to be a change and this toxic person that you're dealing with is not making that change. So you're being pushed to make this change whether you're ready or not. We do have the world card here. So there's an ending cycle here. Um, for some of you guys, it could be, you know, getting to the point of understanding that there's no coming back from this type of situation. Um, it's kind of like that of, you know, you're part of the problem. Um, you keep hoping and wanting your partner to change, but you keep dealing with their bullshit. So in essence, you're part of that problem. Um, if you are dealing with this situation, I feel that in the next coming days, you're definitely going to realize uh, there's going to be some major factor here that unfolds where you're no longer going to be 
uh, okay with dealing with this situation. Now, your first card here in the Oracle cards, we have Third Chakra, Archangel, uh, uh, Camiel, or Shemuel. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Samuel, I'm assuming. <laughs> um, what they're saying here is there is healing that needs to happen. And I feel that you're suppressing uh, cancer or you're ignoring your intuition. It's almost like your alarm is going off, right? Your red flags are going off and it's spirit telling you, wake up, open your eyes, realize what's happening. Don't let this drag you to to be to get to the point of hitting rock bottom um you know third chakra is exactly that it's intuition it, it's paying attention to that so again stop ignoring that your next card here is anxiety you're not paying attention um in regards to the red flags in regards to for some of you guys safety could be an issue um my lovelies, I'm going to tell you this. No matter if you're in a relationship with a male or female, it does not matter. They do not have the right to put their hands on you. If it gets to the point of someone physically harming you, the first time you let that shit slide, it will continue. I guarantee you. So if you're dealing with this type of BS, get out of that situation as soon as possible. And like I said, it doesn't matter if it's a female or male. I hear it all the time, you know, women making excuses. Oh, I was so mad and I put my hands on my boyfriend or my husband. I'm sorry, but you do not have the right to do that, regardless of the situation, regardless of what's happening. Um, and the moment that you cross that boundary, there's no coming back from that. Why? Because they feel comfortable. They feel like, well, they put up with it the first time. They will definitely put up with it the second time. All right. <clears throat> what they're telling you here is don't let the past hold you back. Let go of the situation, Cancer. Your next card here is the answers you need are coming. So there is something that is unfolding. There is something that is brewing behind the scenes that will be manifesting in the next coming hours, um, the next coming days where you're going to realize that you deserve better than this, this toxic energy that we're sensing here. Um, all right, my lovelies, uh, I hope that this gives you some type of insight. Let's go to the next, to the next sign. That was some heavy ass energy, you guys. Whew, I started sweating. Okay, Leo, what can Leo expect in the next coming 72 hours, spirit guides? What can Leo expect in the next 72 hours? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, Leo, let's get to it. Your first card here is the Five of Pentacles, the Moon card. The Five of Cups, what the hell is going on? The High Priestess, the Two of Pentacles, and the Full Card. One more, the Ace of Cups, okay. All right, Leo. What they're showing me here is there's been a recurring energy of feeling Feeling like you want to be hopeful about the future, but it's almost like reality happens or obstacles happen that lead you to believe things are not going to change. And we're primarily talking about relationships here. So this could be for some of you guys, a situation where you've been single for quite a while and you often question, um, you know, are you even up for dating? It's almost like it's a drag at this point. Uh, for some of you guys, um, with the Five of Cups, deep down, there is a desire to manifest some type of commitment or some type of monogamous relationship. But like I said, I feel strongly like there's frustration. Now, there's going to be a recurring dream that you're going to be experiencing, Leo. Um, now, this could be a dream that has to do with a wedding. This could be uh, seeing yourself getting married, seeing yourself having a child, 
Uh, for others of you, it could be having some a dream that has something to do with marriage. And what they're telling you here is this is spirit's way of telling you don't give up. There is definitely a new beginning, um, a new beginning that's coming towards you where you may feel like your love life is non-existent. That's quickly going to be changing. We have two of pentacles here. So I feel that for some of you guys, it could be two suitors or two opportunities that present themselves to you in the next coming 72 hours. Um, with the full card, uh, having the desire, the want to take a leap of faith. Uh, for others of you, this could be you dealing with an Aries or an Aries will be professing their feelings for you. And this could be a person that has been holding on to that, um, to their interest in you, uh, locked in a secret, <laughs> not really wanting to let you know. For some of you guys, it could be because you work with this person or you will be meeting this person while they're working. But I feel heavily for some of you guys, it could be a person that is around you uh, or someone that um, admires you from a distance. But I feel that they haven't had, you know, the courage to step up, but I definitely do see them stepping up um, and taking a leap of faith with the Ace of Cups offering you some type of emotional happiness or fulfillment. Um, for those of you guys that, like I said, have been single for quite a while uh, and there is fear in regards to that, let that fear go. You guys really focus on yourselves. I guarantee you uh, most of the time when I'm dealing with clients that have been single for a very long time, and I'm talking about long ass time, like seven, 10 years, that type of scenario. And the cards announce and the spirits announce that there is new love around them. Uh, they'll dead look at me in the eyes and be like, uh, it's been pretty dead for a couple of years. And then next time I hear from them, it's like I got in a relationship or I'm engaged or anything like that. So again, what they're telling you is focus on the future. Now, what you can expect definitely in the next uh, coming days is someone professing feelings or interest for you. And it may come as a surprise, like I said, and I feel that they're not joking about their feelings. It's not something that just recently happened i feel that they just haven't had the courage to speak up or to let you know that they're interested all right so your oracle cards here is appreciation and door to value so there is definitely someone surrounding you someone around you that really knows your worth leo that highly values and respects for some of you guys your work ethic uh, there is something that they really admire for some of you guys it could be that you're a single mother or a single father um, where there is a lot of like admiration or respect um, for you. Uh, for those of you guys that, you know, not necessarily have to have children, but if you're an extremely hard worker, there, this is something that really attracts them or that first attract them towards you and them seeing you from a distance and seeing the type of person that you are, not just how you are, but how you are around other people. Um, it's something that they really appreciate. So it's a very de uh, beautiful type of energy here. All right. What are your next Oracle cards here? A fiery climax approaches and believe in the impossible. Beautiful energy, Leo. I'm telling you guys, <laughs> there is something brewing that this is going to like be so unexpected. Even if I'm telling you right now, it's going to be so unexpected. Uh, someone professing interested uh, interest in you or wanting to take you out. I feel that it's going to take you aback and believe in the impossible. There are a lot of blessings that are coming towards you, Leo, and this could be career wise as well. There's almost like an elevation of status or an elevation of growth something that has to do with your reputation that is going to be very beneficial for you. So beautiful energy here. All right, let's go to the next reading. I was trying to do these readings quick, um, but that's never, that's never possible. All right, this is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What can they expect in the next coming 72 hours? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What can they expect in the next 72 hours? All right, here we go. 
We're starting off with the Empress card. Love is around you, Virgo. <laughs> wow. Four of Wands, stability, abundance, success. There is almost a, there is an elevation that's happening right now in regards to your finances and career. For those of you guys that have been trying to get a job or have been trying to get uh, some type of higher position, uh, that's definitely going to be coming through. And um, they're definitely saying right here, there is a there's a situation where you've been putting a lot of effort and a lot of energy towards this. For some of you guys, this could be manifestations that you've been putting out to the universe in the next 72 hours. Pay close attention to the messages and signs that will be revealing themselves to you, especially if you see a lot of 7-7 seven, seven numbers, 11-11, um, 4-4-4. Eleven, eleven, um, four, four, four. Uh, these are numbers that Spirit is directly communicating to you uh, that your manifestation is unfolding. So I see you guys definitely becoming magnets to what you're trying to attract. Um, at, at the past, there could have been some type of blockage in regards to mental blockage. It could have been that you were fixated or worried or concerned more about the obstacles and how difficult things were. Um, and I feel that there was a release of that. There was a release of letting go of your fears and you're starting to see a lot of manifestations, a lot of abundance around you. Um, what they're telling me here is for some of you guys in the next 72 hours, there may be an opportunity um, where it kind of dawns on you or you're able to see um, or realize something that has to do in connection with your finances. For some of you guys, this could be realizing that, hey, I've been saving up for quite a while. I hadn't checked and now that I check, I'm actually able to get uh, or move into my new apartment or get for others of you if you've been wanting to purchase your first home there's definitely an opportunity to do that so i definitely do see the realization of how far you've come um, when we're talking about finances and when we're talking about abundance um, i'm also seeing here for some of you guys there is an opportunity to reconnect with someone from your past especially if this person is an aries or a libra or a scorpio energy here um, this could be a person from your past that may be coming back around. It may throw you off a bit. My advice is don't be quick to respond, especially if they're texting you. They're telling you, make them wait, okay? Make them wait is what I'm hearing. So I'm not sure what that is about, uh, but don't, wait, don't be quick to respond um, as their interest may quickly vanish. And it could be because of the full moon. People get all in their feelings. All right, so your next card here is Action and Blossoming Abundance. This is exactly the cards I was seeing, you guys. I see abundance and prosperity all around you. I see you guys realizing and understanding how far you've came. Not only that, but this is you realizing what you've accomplished in such a short time uh, with a lot of effort that you've been putting. So many blessings are being bestowed upon you at this very moment, uh, Virgo. All right, your next card here is you and your loved ones are safe. I see financial stability here and a win-win outcome is forecast. So I see for some of you guys, this could even be striking luck. This could be uh, randomly, you know, purchasing a ticket, a lot of ticket or something. And you do it just because, you know, just because you felt um, the need to. For some of you guys, you don't even gamble and it's just like something that randomly occurs and you actually win. So again, I see a lot of prosperity around you guys. Uh, beautiful reading. All right, let's see. Libra. All right. You guys, give me a second. I need to have a drink. My mouth is dry. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What can they expect in the next 72 hours? What is unfolding before them in the next 72 hours? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, <laughs> this definitely wanted to come out. Okay. So we're taking it. We have the Ace of Pentacles. A new beginning, a new opportunity. This could be you professing your feelings or love or interest for someone. This could be them professing that to you. 
um, initially when the card popped off, I did feel like you've been holding back and this is you being or uh, taking the initiative of some type of declaration here. Now your next card is the two of pentacles walking towards a new beginning where at some point there was a bit of confusion. There was a bit of feeling like you were being pulled towards two different directions. We have the full card here as well. So this is you taking the leap of faith, Libra. Taking the leap of faith in regards to a situation where perhaps you're dealing with someone that has a lot of suitors or someone that is very, very attractive. It's someone... Okay, so I'm getting multiple messages. What they're telling me is that in the next 72 hours, there's going to be some type of communication, some type of movement in regards to communicating with someone that you're very interested in, where in the past, there is a bit of hesitation and it could have been because uh, you weren't as confident or you didn't believe that this person would genuinely be interested in you only because you see competition or you were focused on the competition. So this could be a person that is very desirable. This could be a person that their reputation follows them. Uh, it's almost like when you hear about people being talked and they overhype them. Um, and there's like this feeling of like uncertainty, like what if I step up to the person and they completely reject me? That type of energy is what I'm sensing. Um, Queen of Pentacles, you may be dealing with Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. I definitely do see, I do see them being open. Um, if you can see here. They're holding on, right, on their hands. They have two different objects. One, they're holding uh, fruit, uh, grapes to be specific, and the other one's holding a pear, which seems like a pear, which is being fruitful, which is having options. Um, but you see that you you see the Queen of Pentacles being in an open position. So again, I feel that they are they may be very interested in you as well, Libra. The Eight of Cups, there was a walking away from the situation because you felt like things were not progressing or things were not moving along. Um, <laughs> all right, Libra. So what they're saying is take the leap of faith. Stop being a little weenie, all right? Stop being a little weenie. If you're dealing with the person that, um, like I said, has a lot of suitors or you're very aware that the person... Uh, has a lot of people that are interested in them if you don't take the leap right if you don't jump into it wholeheartedly and give yourself the opportunity get yourself out of this confusion get yourself out of the uncertainty what if you know if you just take a leap what's the worst that can happen that this person rejects you now i'm not saying that they're going to reject you my love because you have the sun card. So the sun card is a relationship. This is a partnership. This is a blessing. This can also represent a yes. But if you don't take that initiative, right, and you don't seize the moment, that opportunity will pass you by and you could have missed out on something that could have transformed or changed your life. And you're always going to go back to that moment in time where you're going to question, what if I would have done this? What if I would have just taken a leap of faith and followed my heart? You get what I'm saying? All right, your card here is community. So do not be misled by people around you, by friends, by relatives, by family. Um, by their friends, you know, if they're telling you, oh, yeah, they're in a relationship. Oh, yeah, they're dealing with someone. They're not. They're not because they're entertaining possibilities. So that means that they're not emotionally invested in a specific individual or a specific person. The next card is the garden and the gate. So we go back to exactly what I'm saying. If you don't take that leap of faith, you're never going to know. You're going to miss out on that opportunity, and that opportunity, for all you know, could have been a person that was sent to you that was deserving of you. All right? So what can you expect in the next 72 hours? There's an opportunity that is going to be unfolding where it's going to draw you or pull you towards that person. It is your chance. It is your moment. It is your opportunity. Seize the moment. All right. 
you have communication is key. <laughs> so I definitely do see you guys being brought together. And I feel that you may be brought together because of the people around you. Uh, some type of celebratory type of energy. Um, communication. Open up. Be honest. Be straightforward. Your next card is luck is on your side. So if you were wondering, is this person going to reject me? The answer to that is no. Why? Because luck is on your side. Take a leap of faith. All right. Let's move on. Okay. Let's look into Scorpio. What can Scorpio expect in the next 72 hours? Spirit guides, ancestors, archangels, please give us clarity, insight, understanding, wisdom, and knowledge. What can Scorpio expect? What can Scorpio expect in the next 72 hours? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You guys, I'm going to the 50 minute mark. I was trying to make this video not as long as possible. <laughs> Oh my god, only because I have a lot of spell work to do tonight. Um, it's still early, but still, you know, I want to not uh, be scattered in energy and not feel like I'm being rushed and that type of energy. And it's just, anyways. All right, let's get into your reading, Scorpio. Your first card here is the Prince of Pentacles, which is the Page of Pentacles. You have the Ace of Cups. You have the Hermit. Six of Wands, Seven of Wands, Death card, Pluto energy right here. And the Eight of Pentacles. All right, Scorpio. There's a message that's coming towards you. This could be in regards to family. This could be in regards to a loved one. Um, there is communication that will be opening up and it's almost a feeling like uh, someone is expecting or relying or asking for some type of help, some type of assistance. Um, with the Hermit card, it's very important to listen to your intuition, Scorpio, especially when people try to guilt trip you, when they try to twist the situation or make it seem like it's your responsibility. Um, with the Six of Wands, keep in mind, whatever it is that you post on social media, people are seeing. And when I say people, I mean family, right? I'm sure you guys have all experienced that situation where you don't even talk to some of your family members, but yet they're all up in your stories, right? Uh, they're wanting to see how you're doing, what's going on in your life. Uh, with the six of wands, it's almost like um, they're seeing you like you are abundant, you're doing great. Um, so let me get or let me try to get something out of Scorpio. With the seven of wands, there's a need to, for you to put your foot down or to stop allowing people to guilt trip you into responsibilities. And this could even be like picking up responsibilities of, as an example, something that your brother or your sister agree to. And now people are making it seem like, well, they dropped the ball. It, you need to pick up the ball. Like, no, the fuck you don't. If that wasn't something that you agreed to, don't let people um, string you along or work on your heartstrings, you know, like to make it seem like you're the one that's responsible, like the fuck you're not. So what they're telling you here is going to be very important in the next 72 hours to stand your ground. Stop allowing people to walk all over you, Scorpio. And I know that this is something you don't want to hear because the majority of Scorpio, especially the ones that I know, <laughs> are extremely prideful. And I know you guys, you know, everyone says, oh, they're so heartless and da-da-da. No, you guys have the most loyal heart I've ever come across. And that's sometimes the detriment to you. Why? Because people play off of that, especially people that you have major loyalty to, like your family, your loved ones, that type of energy. So again, what they're telling you here is take it back. Take it back to you, Scorpio. With your death card here, this is definitely talking about, you know, your, this is Scorpio energy, but this is also Pluto energy. Um, so what they're telling you here, keep in mind, Pluto is in retrograde. Um, there is a lot of issues, underlying issues, like uh, shit that's been going on in the family. Um, this is traumas. This is uh, guilt tripping each other. This is uh, dealing with 
a lot of chaotic type of energy and like don't let them still uh, have that type of power or control over you you're not the child you're not you know little scorpio you are full scorpio so don't allow people to manipulate you into feeling responsible uh, to carry friends loved ones family members issues and um finances you know if they're coming to you to get some type of financial assistance like learn to create boundaries even if you feel horrible to say no sometimes it is necessary uh scorpio very important all right so let's see what your oracle cards say here and i feel like i feel like you know there is like some type of transformation that recently happened or that people are noticing about you Scorpio and it's like like I said you know if you're posting certain things on social media people are like you know looking at you and they're like oh yeah Scorpio is doing amazing like you know let me let me let me ask for some type of help some type of monetary uh, assistance if they ask you in the next coming days say no to that okay because the chances of them paying you back are close to none and I feel like they're just trying to take advantage of your kind and loyal heart Scorpio all right what are the oracle cards for Scorpio we have fourth uh sorry first shark uh chakra sharga <laughs> first chakra archangel Michael and yin and yang balance balance as many times as you say yes, Scorpio, learn to say no. Learn to say no. There is a need for balance. There is a need for uh, restoration of your peace of mind. And I feel that the majority of you guys can, you know, let me know in the comments below. But the majority of you guys are probably dealing with situations where you're carrying other people's issues and other people's problems and other people's responsibilities and you need to stop doing so. It's not helping you. It's only creating uh, more imbalances, more uh, chaotic energy as well as feeling like you're not doing enough. And I feel very, very heavily like Spirit is saying, you go above and beyond. You need to learn to start saying no. Now your card here is your hard work is paying off new moon in Capricorn. And communication is key. Start speaking up for yourself, Scorpio. Um, I know that sometimes, especially, you know, you being a water, uh, a water energy Scorpio, I feel that you, specifically you out of all the signs, um, are the one that feels the most and the deepest um and i think that sometimes that creates you know a a feeling of a feeling of like you're being torn or you're being pulled towards towards two different directions um because of your loyalty to people that you love and you care um whether it's your son whether it's your daughter whether it's your mom your dad uh, your sister, your brother, um, whoever it is that is coming to you for continuing continuing um, assistance uh, in any aspect, okay? We're not just talking about financial. This could be emotional. This could be that, you know, people, specific people rely on you to be there for them emotionally. And when it comes to you, no one is there. So what they're telling you here is, you know, you are doing enough and sometimes that enough is something that you need to pour towards yourself taking care of yourself and making sure that you're okay if you can't be there all the time for everyone and when it's time for you like time for someone to be there for you no one is there you know what i mean like you have to take care of your sanity you have to take care of your mental health um and communication is key it's important for you to open up it's important for you to speak up, um, even if you have to be direct, even if you have to hurt people's feelings. 
you got to be honest and be honest with yourself. Okay? All right. Okie dokie. Let's go to Sagittarius. Oh my God, Sagittarius. You guys, I have a Sagittarian sister, and let me tell you, I love her to pieces, but y'all be going through the most. <laughs> Y'all be going through the most. And you know, it's funny that uh, Sagittarius as a, you know, as the fire sign Sagittarius, um, you guys are known in this lifetime to be one of the signs that are the most luckiest. But most of the time, you guys go through the most because there is a need for adventure. There's an impulse there uh, that leads you to making <laughs> not very good decisions sometimes and whenever like there's a constant feeling of like oh my god i'm so unlucky because things never come out the way i want them to but in reality you're one of the luckiest signs it's just that y'all be out there <laughs> y'all be out there you know by the grace of god <laughs> taking major taking major on really testing your luck you know what i'm saying i got nothing but love for sagittarians i have a lot of sagittarius friends as well you guys are one of the most fun and authentic hearts okay spirit guides what can sagittarius expect in the next 72 hours what can they expect in the next 72 hours sagittarius sun moon rising venus Oh, give me one second. We dropped a card. Oh, look, what is that? The sun. Ooh. All right. Here we go. So we have the sun here. We have the princess of pentacles, page of pentacles. Okay. Chariot. Two of swords. Seven of pentacles. Eight of Pentacles and the Judgment. Okay. All right, team. What's going on with Sagittarius? All right. So with the Sun card, I see there is a situation that may be in connection with a relationship, a partnership for others of you. This could be a representation of... Uh, the family dynamic, meaning um, your loved ones, your daughter, your son, that type of energy. Um, there was some type of decision or something that you've been avoiding. Um, the sun card brings blessings, right? It, it speaks about relationships, but it also speaks about with the page of pentacles. You've been on this journey um, dealing with this type of connection or this relationship or this person that you've been dealing with. And it's almost like you're putting them in the back burner or this could be vice versa. You guys, it is a general reading or a feeling like they're putting you in the back burner. Um, but the reason for that is there is a bit of fear here in regards to um, do they really want me or do I really want them? It's almost like what I'm hearing is for some of you guys, you are really feeling this very strong connection towards this individual or this person that you're dealing with. But there is a feeling of hesitation because you know exactly what they want. So it's almost like the situation of knowing that they want commitment and they're not effing around. They're not messing around. Um, and you really feel this connection, this strong connection towards them. But there is something within you that you're either questioning if you're willing to give up your freedom, like to fully commit to this person, or is your questioning or is it the passion and the desire that I'm lusting after because I feel this person's not making it easy for you. Um, with the chariot card, though, I do see you like. I do see you being maybe even passively aggressive, like you're very. There's something about this person getting you out of, like, this person is challenging you. And I'm hearing for some of you guys, like, they get you, like, they push you to their limit, to your limit, without even 
knowing that they're pushing you to the limit. Like there's something about this person that is really triggering you, but it's triggering you in a positive way because it's making you really analyze something that in past relationships or past connections you haven't experienced. So it's almost like when you're dealing with someone and you know or you realize that they're definitely feeling you, that they're definitely interested in you, and more than likely, right, being the Sagittarian that you are, you know you're going to get that person, right? But this person is like, do they really want me? Are they really interested? And whenever you're around this person, like, they trigger you to the max. So it could be that this person has, um, or that you're dealing with a lot of competition. Like, this person is wanted and desired, um, and your ego is taking over, because we have the Two of Swords here. So the Two of Swords is, you know, having the need or having to take some time to yourself to figure out what it is that you want. Seven of Pentacles, you don't want to make the same mistakes that you've made in the past or in past relationships with the Eight of Pentacles because you know this person is worth it. Because you know that this person is valuable. Because you know this person is not like the rest. With the Judgment card, there will be a decision that is made. And I feel that even if you feel like this situation is out of your hands, I feel that the universe is bringing you guys together for a reason and a purpose. Now, for those of you guys that are currently single and are not dealing with anyone, what Spirit is telling you is be ready because there is an intense connection that's coming towards you. This could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. You may be dealing with the Leo in Aries, um, but I see a lot of Earth energy here. And what they're telling you is whether you're ready or not, this person is really going to push your buttons. And the reasoning for that is because it's time to wake up. It's time to step up into your power. It's time to become the mature adult or the, the mature emotional adult where you're able to give and receive reciprocation of love. Do you see what I'm saying? So for a lot of you guys, this could be something that is unexpected. In the next 72 hours, it could be that you randomly go to a social outing or a gathering. You meet this person. Boom, the connection is intense. It's palpable. Uh, you can definitely feel that they're definitely interested in you, but there's something that is going to be triggering. Um, but I feel that the connection is very, very there. With the Judgment card, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a connection from a past life. Let's see what your... Now, I was initially getting a different scenario here. Um, it's, it, they're reminding me of that, so I'm just going to bring it up. For some of you guys, if you're dealing with a situation that has to do with children um, and you've been reckless in the past or you've been uh, experiencing situations where uh, you've been dealing with partners that are extremely reckless or toxic, there is a need for you to take some time away or some time to yourself to figure out exactly what it is that you want. Um, with the Seven of Pentacles, it's almost like you can't expect to see the... Um, you can expect to see positive outcomes from making irrational decisions. Uh, Seven of Pentacles can also represent wanting to revisit the past only to evaluate um, or only to study exactly what it is that we did wrong or were the lessons in that to be able to move forward with the Eight of Pentacles putting effort and energy. So for some of you guys, if you're dealing with the situation that has to do um that has to do with, you know, uh, being in a relationship or finding yourself being in one or another relationship and you have children, uh, they're telling you take a deep look at yourself in the mirror and know and understand that you are a reflection to your children. You're teaching them um, what is okay and what is not okay when we're talking about relationships, what you put up with and what you don't put up with. You're teaching them that that's, you know, when you grow up, this is how it's going to be. And if it's a negative thing, you need to understand that you are impacting your children in that way. All right. So your oracle cards here is blossoming abundance and attachment. So I feel that you guys are growing. I, I keep hearing maturing. Um, it's realizing the points in our life where we effed up. And understanding that and through realizing that if you raise your vibration if you rise to the occasion you start to experience not only uh, stability 
but emotional stability as well. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with a toxic situation where there is a need to release attachment to be able to go to the next phase in your life, the next cycle in your life. For some of you guys, it could be that's that could be if you're dealing with a situation where there's been a bit of resistance in regards to this connection. For some of you guys, it could be because you're still holding on to a karmic relationship, to a karmic partner, someone that you should have outgrown by now. Um, why do I say that? Because we have three and five. So that's an indication of constant struggle. Um, fives are always an inner struggle. It's uh, feeling like we can't make a choice because one or the other one or the other choice is going to be painful regardless so it's a constant feeling of procrastination because you don't want to make that difficult choice um and like i said for some of you guys it could be because you're holding on to a toxic partner or a karmic relationship now your next card here is luck is on your side things are going to quickly be moving and the end of a tough cycle approaches so if you are dealing with a toxic or karmic relationship that's quickly coming to an end and there is a need for you to grow from that and grow out of that to be able to fully embrace this new beginning uh, with this very strong and deep connection. All right, my lovelies, let's go to let's go to the next. Who's the next Capricorn? All right, let's see what Capricorn can expect in the next 72 hours. What can Capricorn expect in the next 72 hours? What can Capricorn expect in the next 72 hours? Spirit guides, ancestors, archangels, please give us clarity, insight, understanding, wisdom, and knowledge. Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, Venus. What can they expect in the next 72 hours? Okay, one more. Here we go. All right, Capricorn, you have the Four of Wands, Stability, Commitment, Celebration, Eight of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Five of Swords, Two Fives, The Emperor, Eight of Swords, and Temperance. Okay. All right, Capricorn, you may be dealing with an Aries, you may be dealing with a Sagittarius, you may be dealing with another fire energy, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, um, or water energy here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There is a desire to manifest some type of stability when we're talking about relationships. Uh, the Eight of Pentacles does represent putting in the effort or the energy. With the Five of Cups, there was a feeling of being let down. Uh, there could have been a um, an argument. There could have been some type of falling out. For some of you guys, you could have stopped communication with someone uh, because they hurt your feelings, because there was a feeling of they hurt your pride and your ego. Um, so it could have been a situation where you felt like you were being crossed. With the Emperor card here, this is you being stubborn. This is you not letting go of that situation and feeling stuck because of it. Um, I do see communication opening up as we do have the possibility to stabilize the situation and with the temperance, bring healing or bring some type of apology. So I feel that if you're dealing with the situation, there's definitely an apology that is going to be ensuing. For some of you guys, this could be getting a phone conversation, phone uh, a phone call or text message, but I feel that it's more personal. So for some of you guys, it could be a telephone conversation that ends up in a meeting or meeting the person or accepting to go out with the person to have some type of conversation where there's going to be an apology being offered to you and a desire to bring amends to, to fix it. How can I do it better? How can we get on the same page? How can you uh, trust me enough to, um, to know that I will not disrespect you in that way, that type of energy? Now, for others of you, this could represent a situation where uh, there was a bit of, you know, rumors um, especially for those of you guys that are married, there could have been rumors or people just trying to start drama, start uh, 
you know, creating some type of chaos in regards to your relationship where you question your partner or you question their uh, honesty. And there is a feeling of, you know, being extremely hurt, not because of the questioning, but more because you believed other people over your partner. Um, so if you are dealing with that situation, what Spirit is telling you is be the bigger person and apologize. Um, you have to understand sometimes we bring people, right? We have friends, we have family. Um, whenever we're going through situations or relationships, uh, we express to our friends, right? Or our family, what we're going through. And sometimes we don't realize that we're doing a bad thing by doing that because you're allowing people to feel entitled, like they are able to say or do certain things between you and your partner, meaning like they have a say when they really don't, but you've made them feel that comfortable that they will come to you uh, if they heard a rumor or something and they, you know, maybe came from a good place without realizing that they're steering shit up. I feel that they knew exactly what they were doing, um, but I'm just saying in general. So what they're telling you here is if you are going through a situation like that and it was you the one that questioned them, um, and didn't believe them, uh, and it turns out that they were saying the truth, what Spirit is telling you is be the bigger person and apologize. All right. Let's see what your Oracle cards have to say. Capricorn, Sun, and Rising, Venus. Okay, and your first card here is the Sun. The unification of a relationship for some of you guys, this is a blessing, uh, reconciliation or um, a relationship itself. And the next one is the temple path. I didn't really. I looked at the bottom deck. Angel of love. So I feel that for a lot of you guys, if you are dealing with this type of situation, um, don't let pride or ego get in the way. Um, if it was you the one that, you know, believes someone else over your partner, they have every right to be upset about it. Um, apologize. And if it was you the one that was done wrong, don't be surprised because they will definitely be reaching out and apologizing, especially if you're dealing with the person <laughs> If you're dealing with a person that is extremely stubborn and prideful, like they always have to have the upper hand, um, this is going to definitely throw you aback because they will be apologizing. All right. And your next oracle cards here is nothing is yet set in stone. So there are things that are still unfolding and a time for healing which makes perfect sense with that of the temperance card here. Healing, apologizing, restoring the relationship. All right, my lovelies, hope you guys enjoyed those messages. Now let's go on to Aquarius. All right, let's see Aquarius. What can you expect in the next 72 hours? Spirit guides, ancestors, archangels, what can Aquarius expect in the next 72 hours? In the next 72 hours, what can they expect in the next 72 hours? Aquarius, sun and rising, Venus. Aquarius, sun and rising, Venus. Okay, one more. All right, here we go. Your first card, Aquarius, is the Seven of Cups. The Magician. Hmm, very interesting. Okay, so I obviously haven't pulled out the rest of the cards, but as soon as I pulled out the Seven of Cups and the Alchemist, um, what they're telling me is don't be surprised if in the next 72 hours you get a phone call, a phone call from someone that may be drunk, um, may have had a little too much to drink. Um, and this is a person that could be from your past or someone that you were hoping to hear from. Uh, with the Six of Swords, it could be a person that you're still trying to move on from. 
um, but you were hopeful or there was a desire there uh, to hear from them or for them to reach out to you. With the Ten of Pentacles, this could have been a situation, uh, it could have been a person that you uh, were dating or that you were in a committed relationship for quite a while. Death card is transformation. It also speaks about um, Pluto in retrograde. It also speaks about um, obviously the full moon that we're experiencing bringing an ending cycle. The moment that people start to feel that we are no longer energetically tied to them. Um, so what I'm what I mean by that is whenever whenever you're trying to move on from a relationship or an ex-partner, right? And it's really difficult, obviously, to go through that healing process. Um, you don't hear from them, right? But the moment you start dating or the moment you start to put yourself out there, people start to reach out to you, right? Your ex all of a sudden comes back around. They want to contact you. They want to look for you. They want to see you. They want to hang out with you. Why? Because they feel the energetic um the they no longer feel the energetic um spiritually connection that you had why because you're embracing or you're getting ready to start a new beginning and the moment they don't feel that it's like okay it's kind of like that those memes you know where <laughs> where it says um when the ex sees or senses that you're moving on let me text them real quick um and, and that's a real thing uh, and the reason for it is because when you're sitting there crying or missing the person, right, um, there is desperation in that energy. So they're sensing that and they reject it. But the moment you pull away, the moment you start to do your own thing, the moment you start to have fun, they sense it. They sense that there's a detachment there and that's the reason why they come back around. That's the reason why they start to reach out. Um, so I feel that in essence, that's kind of what's what's going to be what you're going to be experiencing if you've been dealing with the situation where uh you were holding on to something from the past um but now you're getting to the point of either putting yourself out there or starting to date or starting to uh you know mess with the idea of you know wanting to date again they could be sensing that and this full moon is only going to amplify that so in the next coming days i do see them uh, communicating or wanting to reach out for some of you guys this is a drunk call that you're going to be receiving um, where they're trying to revisit the past so it could be like hey remember when we were together remember how fun or remember how much you know uh, how much fun we had together whatever the situation is it's almost like a desire to revisit or relive the past um, but the tens are always ending cycles as well so what they're telling you here is, you know, don't don't be so quick to jump into giving the opportunity or thinking that something can come from this, because with the death card, you need to embrace this ending and let it go so that you no longer allow them to hurt you so that you no longer allow them to string you along. OK. And for some of you guys, you may be dealing with an Aries. You may be dealing with a Sagittarius Leo. For others of you, you may be dealing with a Scorpio type of energy or Earth energy here as well. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, but what they're telling you here is, you know, don't don't be quick to rush into, you know, throwing or putting your heart on your sleeve because I feel that it's just they're drunk. Uh, the moon is amplifying the sadness that they may feel or the loneliness that they may feel. Um, and what they're telling you here with the death card, it's time to embrace the end to be able to fully move on towards something new. So you can definitely expect a phone call, a drunk phone call at that. And this is a in connection with someone from your past. All right, let's see what your oracle cards have to say here. We have action and the thinking man. So yeah, I feel that they're going to be mostly taking action off of impulse because they've been overthinking or overanalyzing or the full moon is amplifying that energy, uh, which is why they are impulsively, uh, you know, reaching out 
without really thinking. It's kind of like a situation where you get that drunk phone call and then the next day it's like they don't even realize that they called you and if they do, they try to ignore the fact that they actually called you. That type of scenario. So be careful uh, not to think much can come from that. All right, what is the next Oracle cards for Aquarius? Okay, we have a fiery climax approaches. Full moon in Aries, and your commitment is being tested. I feel that for some of you guys, um, the fiery climax is a representation of when you're getting close to breaking down a cycle or breaking down something that has been reoccurring in your life when we're talking about relationships whether it's attracting toxic relationships or toxic partners or falling for people that are emotionally unavailable that type of energy and it we're quickly approaching um an ending that is going to be very tempting because it's a fiery climax so you're going to be very tempted to fall into a past pattern or an old behavior. Um, and that's the reason why your commitment to yourself or what it is exactly that you want and that you know you deserve is going to be tested. Like, how bad do you want it? Do you want to sit there and say that you want a long-term committed relationship when you're being tested? Someone from your past that never wanted to commit bounces back and tries to reach out by you entertaining that means that you're not fully committed to the idea of commitment do you see what i'm saying um and vice versa it could be with anything really uh, them being toxic uh, you wanting someone that is emotionally mature um someone that respects your freedom but yet you know that toxic ex that was extremely clingy and possessive reaches out and you entertain that that means that you're not being fully committed to your uh, you're not being fully committed to your desire of what you're trying to manifest. So again, uh, be careful with that, Aquarius. All right. And finally, we're going to go into Pisces. All right. Let's see what, what can Pisces expect in the next 72 hours. Spirit, guides, ancestors, archangels. What are the messages for Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus? What can they expect in the next 72 hours? Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus. What can Pisces expect in the next 72 hours? One more. All right. Pisces, we're starting off here with the Empress card. Empress card, abundance, opulence, success. This is creativity and tapping into your creativity. Uh, Pisces, this is really tapping into your gifts tapping into your your creative um your creative energy this could be running off of inspiration um making impulsive uh impulsive decisions because you're tapping into your intuition or you're very confident in the decisions that you're making now we also have here the prince of pentacles the Five of Wands, the Queen of Swords, the Princess of Cups, the Prince of Cups. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. And the Eight of Swords. Okay. All right, Pisces. I see a lot of bickering. I see a lot of people being around you, um, kind of like claiming people that claim that they have true genuine intentions towards you this could be friends this could be loved ones this could be um people that you socialize or that you choose to socialize with and it's almost like i see you going towards this journey that you've been going through um finding yourself and i feel that that's making people or other people uncomfortable sorry uncomfortable so it's almost like you've been on this journey of finding yourself or finding truly who you are, what it is that you want, what you want to do in life. Um, this is basically relearning yourself or getting to know yourself all over again. And it's making people uncomfortable. 
So when I hear uncomfortable, I feel like people are speculating, people are uh, creating a lot of tension. This could be people talking behind your back. This could be people that are passing judgment. Um, and it's almost like, it's almost like you're realizing this or you're going to be hearing about this. Now, what they're telling me here is that while you've been on this journey of finding yourself or figuring out what you want out of life or the type of life that you want to lead, um, there is, like I said, there's been people that, that you have allowed to be close to you that are not authentic or not genuine with their intentions towards you. And I feel that these people are spiteful people. I feel that it's people that envy you, people that have created a lot of rumors or a lot of negative, um, like going with one going with one person to the next, to the next, to the next, always talking bad about Pisces to make you look or put you in a bad light. And I feel that you're realizing that and there's going to be a, a conversation that comes up. It could be an air sign that comes towards you. Uh, air sign would be Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. For others, it could be a Libra specifically that comes towards you or even a mother figure that has been trying to guide you or has been telling you um, that they don't, you know, that certain friends of yours just don't sit well with them. You've neglected that or ignored that. But I feel that there's almost like this aha moment that you're going to be experiencing, like I should have listened to my mom or I should have listened to, um, you know, those friends that would tell me, you know, uh, that a specific person was just bad vibes, like all the way. I should have paid attention to that. Because I feel that there is a conversation that comes up in the next 72 hours. This is news coming towards you in regards to a person that has been speaking bad about you. And it's a person that you would have never thought um, was, you know, would double cross you like that or would uh, betray your trust. Um, now, for those of you Pisces out there that are in a committed relationship be careful that the people you express certain secrets to have your best at interest. Is Wait, is that how you say it? <laughs> um, make sure that the people you have shared those secrets with is people that you have tested their loyalty. Because I feel that there is someone in your inner circle that will be getting some news and will be spreading that news. And it could potentially affect you or it could potentially um, put you, like I said, in a bad light. I feel that it's quickly going to go back to them. Like uh, basically karma is going to take care of them. But I feel that it's still going to leave you um, with a sour taste in your mouth, if you know what I mean. Like it's going to become a headache or something that you're going to have to deal with. And I feel that there is a situation that... Uh, could potentially affect a relationship or partnership that you're in with the eight of swords feeling stuck not knowing what to do or feeling like you're at the mercy of whatever the partner decides to do and I feel that that's that's the reason why they're saying make sure that the people that you trust you have uh, that you trust with your secrets you have tested their loyalty because if you haven't it's going to be a rude awakening when you find out that that same person that you trusted went behind your back and even directly went to your partner to tell them exactly what you shared. So again, be careful with that. I feel that there is, in the next 72 hours, you're going to be experiencing a situation where rumors and um, you having to prove your point is going to be unfolding. And it's just bad energy because I feel that it has a lot to do with this specific individual. Um, someone that you trusted is what I'm hearing. All right, let's see what the Oracle cards have to say here for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's write it. Let's look at Archangels. What are the Oracle cards for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? All right, your first card here is Door to Personal Healing and Happiness. This is... I feel that there's like... This situation is going to be an uncomfortable situation, but I feel that the positive in it is going to make you realize 
that you can't allow everyone to come through the doors of your home. That you need to be more wise the people that you allow to be around you, to be around your family, to be around you. This is you realizing that you can have an open door to your home to anyone that you don't trust, that you have not tested their loyalty to you. For some of you guys, this could be a situation where could be rumors in regards to matters of the heart where you thought a friend or someone you trusted actually had bad intentions. For Chakra Archangel Michael, I'm getting like you getting clarity in regards to people you thought were closest to you or that you thought had good intentions turn out to not have good intentions. But Archangel um, Michael is that of destroying the enemies. So I feel that this is, in essence, a blessing because it's opening up your eyes to those that are not worthy of your time, effort, energy, or friendship. For some of you guys, this could be a situation of finding out that a friend of yours was actually trying to hit on your girl or your guy. I'll be honest with you. I despise that type of energy, you guys. You have no idea. All right, let's see what your next oracle cards say here. We have you and your loved ones are safe. And it's new moon in Cancer. Cancer's mother figure. Empress. I feel that there's almost like the realization like I should have listened to my mom or my mom was right or my grandma was right. A mother figure to you. That just didn't vibe with some of your friends. All right, your next card here is. Whoops, got you. Nothing is yet set in stone. So I think that these are unfolding, unfolding, um, unfolding situations that you're going to be dealing with. Um, nothing is yet set in stone. I feel very strongly, whatever the rumors are don't run with them um especially if it has to do with you questioning your partner i feel that it has more to do with just steering up shit and drama yeah their intentions could have been exactly that but it doesn't necessarily mean that your partner was okay with it or that they would have dared to step out of the relationship you know what i mean i feel that this has more to do with like if if you don't believe or you don't trust your partner, I feel that they're getting what they wanted out of the situation. So be smarter and wiser than that, Pisces. All right, my lovelies, I hope that you guys enjoyed these readings. I hope it gives you some type of clarity, insight, understanding of what is to unfold and also gives you the upper hand. Um, gives you the upper hand of what to do in this situation. So... I wish you guys the very best. If you guys like these readings, definitely comment below. Let me know. Um, don't forget to like, share, uh, and subscribe to our channel so that you can help our algorithm. Um, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.